her best. She speaks no harm of Brutus here. This Caesar was a tyrant. <laughs> Come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. The evil that men do lives after them. The good is often tarred with their bones. So let it be with Caesar. The noble Brutus hath told you that Caesar was ambitious. If it were so, it were a grievous fault. And grievously hath Caesar answered it. Here, on the leave of Brutus and the rest, come I to speak in Caesar's funeral. For well, Brutus is an honorable man. So are they all, all honorable men. He was my friend, faithful and just to me. But Brutus says he was ambitious, and Brutus is an honorable man. He has brought many captives home to Rome, whose ransoms did the general coffers fill. Did this in Caesar seem ambitious? When that the poor had cried, Caesar hath wept. Ambition should be made of sterner stuff. Yet Brutus says he was ambitious. And Brutus is an honorable man. You all did see how on the Lupercal I thrice presented him a kingly crown, which he did thrice refuse. Was this ambition? Yet Brutus says he was ambitious. And sure, he is an honorable man. I speak not to disprove what Brutus spoke, but here I am to speak what I do know. You all did love him once, not without cause. What cause withholds you then to mourn for him? O oh, judgment thou art fled to brutish beasts, and men have lost their reason. Be with me. My heart is in the coffin there with Caesar. I must pause till it come back to me. <laughs> Yesterday the word of Caesar might have stood against the world. Now lies he there. None so poor to do him reverence. O oh, masters, if I were disposed to stir your hearts and minds to mutiny and rage, I should do Brutus wrong and Cassius wrong, whom you all know are honourable men. I will not do them wrong. I'd rather choose to wrong the dead to wrong myself and you than wrong such honourable men. But here is the parchment with the seal of Caesar. Tis his will, I found it in his closet. Let but the commons hear this testament, which, pardon me, I do not to read. And they would go and kiss at Caesar's wounds, and dip their tunics in his sacred blood. Yea, beg a hair of him for memory, and dying mention it in their wills, bequeathing it as a rich legacy unto their issue. Hail Caesar! Hail Caesar! Hail Caesar!